the purple hair. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of like bobs on me. Just depends. I'm loving this color. I've done purple before, but not the whole head being purple. Anyways, if you're interested in this unit, I will link it below. Um, it's a lace front. It's synthetic and it's bomb. Like, okay. <laughs> so today we're gonna do a haul on Sammy dress, and it's basically I think all outerwear because the three tops don't fit. What was that? I just was like, just didn't have anything to say. But um, I went on SammyDress.com to look for basically all outerwear and stuff for the fall. So the fact that the three tops didn't fit was kind of disappointing because I promise like they are so nice. But um, it was really too tight on the arms and then I know if I would have tried the button, the buttons probably would have popped. I ain't had time for that. Uh, but let's go ahead and get started. Now... I leave the sizes and the prices on the screen. You guys know how I do. Uh, I think I went up three, two to three sizes on everything. Uh, went up either four or five X with basically everything. So this first jacket, you've seen it before. Yes, you have. Um, I'll link that video below if I can remember. But if not, it's definitely on my channel. And it was trying on a coat that is probably the exact replica of this one, okay? Um, so it's just this leather and uh, this other type of material and it's super stretchy and this is in a 5X. The reason I got this is because the other one I had I was like oh my gosh is this the same exact jacket? So I was like let me get this jacket and let me see if it fits better than the other one because if it fits better I'll just give the other one to one of my best friends. Um, Delery claimed it already so <laughs> this one is hers. I think the other one fit me better. But yeah. She really loved this and I really love this as well. It's just a cropped leather jacket, faux leather, and then when you when I zip it up, I wouldn't wear it zipped up, but when I zip it up, it's really like cropped. Like you can see my whole behind. Um it comes up really high. And then I like it unzipped better. I would probably wear 90% of my jackets unzipped just because I typically like the outfits that's going under it. I take a lot of, I put a lot of thought into what I'm wearing under the jacket. It's not just throw on a jacket, zip it up, and leave. Like, no. I layer things. It's really precise, and that's just me. So, this next jacket, I will link a picture of me wearing uh, this jacket below uh, from my Instagram. If you haven't noticed, my Instagram changed from Rocky's Anatomy to Daquana White. Just the quantum white my name, no underscores, no periods. Um, I will link a picture of me wearing it down below because apparently when I say I'm going to insert the picture, sometimes I forget and people like to nag in the comments about how if you say you're going to link it or put it on a the screen, then do that when, honey, I, I be forgetting. So, I'll link below in the description me wearing this and um, it's going to be a link to my Instagram page so you can see it on there. And you can open it in your browser, so you don't have to be on a phone. So it's just this, I like to call these MAC jackets. It's just like a MAC, like windbreaker type of jacket. It has a drawstring at the waist. It does have pockets. It buttons up, but again, as you will see me wearing it in a picture, I did not button it up. Because that's not how I wear my jackets. And I put on some Adidas with it. And it was really cute. It was actually pretty warm. The day I wore it, it was like... 70 de degrees and the jacket kept me super warm um, almost too warm and I wore it because I thought it was going to rain and it was kind of cool in the morning when I left out so that's that the next thing I got look at my fat just <laughs> I don't care okay the next thing I got is this um jean jacket and I think you guys have seen me do a couple of jean jackets. If not, you're going to see some in my Hello Fall haul that I have that I'm going to film on October 1st. And um, this one is kind of different because it's distressed like on the sleeves. It's a light denim wash, which I don't have any light jean jackets. And then it's distressed a little bit more over here. Um, it's just a really nice jacket overall. It's really well made. That's what I was super, like, I'm not surprised that Sammy Dress can 
make really nice things like this is a real denim material um those jackets are really nice materials as well but this is really like high quality i would see myself getting this out of like a torrid or ashley stewart type of store um probably like a torrid i would compare this the quality of it uh really well made as i said and does have the pockets up here and pockets down below as well so it has four pockets all together and they're all functional uh this i didn't try to close it this is not stretchy whatsoever uh it wasn't too snug on the arms but i think if i would have tried to button it i wouldn't have liked it so i did keep it open on the video and <laughs> i'm just tossing them the next thing i have is this i forgot what it was called on the site i think it was like a stand-up collar trench coat or something like that <sighs> I have a love-hate relationship because I love pink okay um this is a really kind of thick material but not too thick and it has functional pockets but it doesn't have like any like I said I don't button up my stuff but it doesn't have buttons or like a uh, zipper or anything I would love for it to have had a vest not a vest what am I thinking about a belt not a vest I would love for it to have had a belt um, just to cinch in the waist because it kind of just looks just I don't know just droopy I guess uh, it comes over the butt it comes past the butt and like I said in this color it's more of a spring pink in my opinion rather than a fall pink um, for a fall pink I don't have anything up here okay yes I do I would prefer like this dusty pink right here like a I guess a mauve um tone of pink but not this I think this is more spring than fall so yeah um I just got sidetracked sorry but my shoes were falling off the shelf okay but that's that the next thing is probably my um one of my favorites as well uh this is I think my favorite was the blue coat, the leather jacket, the jean jacket. Those are like, these are my top four. So this is just a army green. Some people call it khaki type of, I like I said, I call them max. But it's like a windbreaker and it just has these patches. It has a hood. Um, I'm focused. Am I focused? Okay. Another patch here. Um... And it's giving me really like military style. Uh, it buttons like at the neck. You can button it. It does have a zipper and buttons down it. The pockets in the front are functional in their nice size. Um, it does have a drawstring, but the drawstring is on the inside. But when you cinch it, it still shows on the outside, of course. And I really do like the drawstring detail that's probably my favorite part of the jacket and um something else i wanted to mention oh i kind of just wish it had inside pockets i don't know for some reason when i get windbreakers and stuff i really would like for it to have an inside pocket just for my phone if it's raining outside and stuff um or for the if i don't want to carry a wallet and i just want to stick some money on the inside of my card so that's the only thing i'll say about this overall this is probably the top favorite if not the blue one uh just because even though the blue one is really plain it really just was well fitting to me so the three items that didn't fit <laughs> was this button up shirt um it was i think all these these three were in four x's didn't fit and i got this just for a casual day to put on with some booties or some boots or my um white harachis uh or pull out the classic k swiss so um however this ended up not working what really drew me to this shirt was this pattern up here uh it just was a really nice detail and i thought it was a really clean cut casual type of shirt and for these two the material just has no give no type of stretch um it just, I thought it was going to be really nice. And 
honestly when I put it on it didn't like the sleeve didn't go all the way up but it went up far enough so that I would be able to see how the shirt would look if it would have fit and it has these beautiful splits first of all it's an oval bottom the bottom the back comes down longer than the front and then it has these beautiful splits that will accentuate a person's hips and this would have been so freaking pretty with some over the knee boots and some a nice pair of leggings jeggings or jeans uh, even would have looked nice with some shorts and kind of have this button up down a little bit and you know show a little bit and some sneakers so you could adjust this up or down uh, you could wear this with some nice faux leather pants and a pair of heels it was just so cute and if I could I'll try to find a picture of the model and insert it um, but again if I don't remember to do so it will be linked below so you can see how it's supposed to look and then I have the same thing in black the only miss was the material it's like a bed sheet material um, just has no give at all but again the overall idea of the shirt was really nice and I kinda really wish it would have fit because I have a few pair of over the knee boots that I just purchased and it would have been so popping so that's the end of my Sammy dress haul it's been a minute you know but I'm back <laughs> um, it's been a minute that I work with Sammy dress is what I'm saying uh, but uh, I do like my pieces I'm just like uh, mm, uh. <laughs> now I do like the um, outerwear pieces that I've got and I told you what my four favorites were the army green jacket the denim jacket the faux leather jacket and the blue jacket were my favorites and so yeah thank you guys so much for watching uh, some more pieces from Sammy dress and I'm sure I will work with them again in the future so yeah <laughs> thank you guys for joining